The Gentle Art of Scuba Diving How to Minimize Your Impact on Coral Reefs Scuba diving on coral reefs can be one of the most exhilarating experiences you'll ever have. But as anyone who has ever taken scuba diving lessons knows, you're supposed to follow some basic rules to protect the coral reefs so you can continue to enjoy them in the future. So what are those rules? Here are 6 great tips for scuba divers to help preserve this fragile ecosystem. Minimize their impact on coral reefs, and take part in responsible diving habits. 1. Don't touch or stand on anything. Whether you're a new diver or an experienced one, keeping your hands off coral reefs is one of the easiest ways to help preserve them. The problem is that many divers don't realize their actions have an impact. Diver-caused damage can be hard to see from above water. And even if it's obvious from below, there are still those who don't care or will take photos for bragging rights anyway. Don't be that guy. Instead, watch how other divers interact with corals and follow suit. If everyone follows these simple rules, we'll all enjoy coral reefs for years to come. There's really only one rule when it comes to interacting with coral. Keep your hands away. Despite common perceptions, scuba divers should never hold onto live coral or touch dead specimens for any reason, even if they look like they've died naturally. Experienced divers might think they know better because their experience tells them everything has already been tagged by scientists. But marine life doesn't operate by our clock. Corals that appear dead may just be resting while others are dying in response to environmental conditions like overfishing or pollution. Never grab anything. The coral reefs are one of those rare parts of nature that can be enjoyed without having to take something away from it. You're allowed to swim through them, you're allowed to look at them. You can even pick up a few shells as souvenirs. Just don't break anything off and always show these magnificent creations as much respect as possible. That means never touching or grabbing onto anything, no matter how fragile it looks. Don't go for a swim if there is any sign of stormy weather. Not only will you risk getting hit by lightning, but also your presence in the water will disturb corals more than usual. And finally, avoid wearing sunscreen with SPF above 30 when diving in tropical waters, below 30 is okay. The chemicals used in sunscreens kill corals and other sea creatures over time so try to get your protection from natural sources instead, like coconuts. If you need some sunscreen anyway, use reef-friendly brands like Badger or Think which contain zinc oxide instead of chemical UV filters like oxybenzone or octinizate. 3. Keep your fins in check. Don't touch, grab or step on coral while in scuba gear. Even without contact, fin movements can cause damage. Make sure your fins are clipped onto your dive belt if you are walking over a reef. Just because there aren't corals underneath doesn't mean that there aren't delicate sea life around you that may be disturbed by your fins. If you want to take photos of a reef, use an underwater camera and stay at least 3 feet away from it. 4. Practice proper buoyancy control. Buoyancy control is key to diving safely and preventing harm to yourself or your underwater environment. One way you can improve your buoyancy control is by learning from an experienced scuba diver. Ideally, you should practice your buoyancy in a swimming pool before getting into open water, where currents are unpredictable and harder to manage. It's important that you understand proper buoyancy, but that you are able to demonstrate it as well. This will help you avoid accidentally damaging coral reefs when snorkeling or diving. To avoid damaging coral reefs, try to keep your fins off of them as much as possible. If you do touch them with your fins, make sure they are soft-tipped so they don't hurt anything. Also remember that many corals are sensitive to temperature changes and touching them with cold hands could kill them. If a coral looks damaged already, be careful not to touch it again. If possible report what happened so others know about potential damage zones around the reef. Finally, if you see other divers doing something dangerous, like touching corals, politely remind them of their impact on marine life. 5. Think before you take pictures. Before you take a photo of any fish or coral, ask yourself if it's actually necessary. As scuba divers, we have an unfair advantage over marine life we can move around and change our angle in order to get a better shot. If you're trying to capture that perfect photo and miss your opportunity, chances are good another diver will eventually swim by with a different perspective. That said, here are some things that make stunning reef scenes worth shooting. Unique sea creatures, interesting shadows and reflections. Textures like rocks, corals, algae, etc. And of course, photos of you with your friends or other divers. Things that aren't worth taking pictures of include. Live animals. Take a picture of them from behind. Overly busy backgrounds, take it again without all those distracting fish. Repetitive patterns, unless they're super cool. 6. Respect the ecosystem. It's one thing to learn how to take care of yourself while you dive. 
It's quite another thing entirely to learn how to respect and protect what you're diving in. By studying a coral reef first, divers can quickly identify and avoid habitats that are dangerous for them, and for marine life as well. With practice, you can soon become a master at respecting marine life without even thinking about it. For example, if you see an area with lots of fish but no corals or other invertebrates, chances are it's a good place to swim through. On the other hand, if there aren't any fish but there is lots of coral and other invertebrates, then chances are it's not such a great place to swim through. And always remember, when in doubt, don't touch. Touching corals or damaging any part of an ecosystem can be harmful for both your health and theirs. Final word. Get involved with reef conservation. An important part of enjoying scuba diving is making sure you take care not to damage or harm reefs. Some scuba divers think that because they're only in contact with a small portion of a reef, their impact is minimal. But research has shown that coral reefs are incredibly sensitive and need our protection. So here are some ways you can show your concern for coral reefs while also having fun underwater. A few simple steps will make all the difference when it comes to protecting reefs from scuba divers. First, keep an eye out for areas where there is obvious damage from fishing boats or other activities, and avoid them at all costs. Next, learn about how corals reproduce and make sure you don't touch any reproductive parts when exploring underwater. These parts include polyps, which have tentacles, hard white bodies called eggs, or pinkish buds. Finally, avoid touching soft corals at all costs as these fragile animals tend to break off easily when touched by hand. Organizations that help with reef conservation. There are many different organizations that try to help preserve coral reefs around the world. Some focus on raising awareness, while others actually go into action in trying to help clean up areas where coral is being destroyed by natural causes or man-made pollution. If you are a scuba diver with an agenda of saving natural ecosystems, this section is for you. Since the root cause of coral reef depletion, scientists across the world have come together in a joint venture to monitor the effects of human activities on coral communities. These experiments can only be successful with meaningful cooperation from the scuba diving community. The U.S. Coral Reef Task Force, conducted by the U.S. Geological Survey, works to establish environmental and artificial stressors that affect the health of coral reefs. The initiative of Trash Free Waters by 2025 calls on people from all walks of life to manage the issue of garbage and plastic found in water bodies. The Florida Keys, the third largest coral reef system in the world, has initiated a water quality protection program, which is set to promote fishing and tourism by improving water quality and restoring natural order. Another program in the Florida Keys, the Coral Reef Evaluation and Monitoring Program, CREMP, specifically targets long-term changes in the life cycles of sponges, anemones, algae, corals, and others that are brought about by climatic as well as human factors. The Hawaii Coral Reef Working Group is another organization that looks after the upkeep of coral life in the Hawaiian region. It promotes scientific research in the field to protect its natural heritage. In addition to all these government-sanctioned programs, many community-based programs have been formed which require experienced scuba divers to participate in taking stock of the marine biology by counting fish colonies, etc. This creates a solid database that can be used at a later time as a base reference. Many environmental organizations use this data to compare and publish their findings. We hope these tips help protect marine life while giving you a chance to enjoy one of life's greatest experiences. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Please post any thoughts you have in the comments. We look forward to seeing you on the next video.